drive, I'll never know. And they didn't blame it on you? Oh no, it wasn't our fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So where's he, this guy at now? Huh? Is his name John? Yeah, he's out in Wisconsin somewhere, John McDade. He's still alive? Oh yeah. Not in prison or anything? No. Nope. No, he was a piece of work. Why were you in Oklahoma so much? You're building radio microwave towers. From Kansas City to Dallas. That was Lisa. Holy okay. buckets, how can you guys stand and it out here? What they did, they built them all across the United States. Okay. And we were working from Kansas City to Dallas. That was the main one, and then that was the last radio microwave towers I worked on, basically out, outside of South Dakota. Because we got called away, and we had to go to Kentucky and, and work that's on where some you towers. Got into trouble. Sounds like you got into trouble everywhere he went. No. Stabbed in the stomach and where? Oh, that was in Oklahoma. Everything happened in Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma was a rough that's summer. That's yeah. Dad. Yeah, some bastard stuck a little knife. Dude. Well, I was going to kill him, you know, when everybody grabbed me. I said, son of a bitch, stab me with a knife. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's too late. What did you do to deserve a knife stabbing? It wasn't me. He was after it was somebody else. It was John. <laughs> no, it wasn't John either. Oh, I, he would never let me meet John. Uh, I was what? dating Mark. He, he says, I won't but let anyway, you meet then, John. Then so Red and I your mainly point. went to doing service work. Just travel here, he travel not. there, oh, and line right. up towers. They're mine. Go ahead, put them and on. Stuff like that. Line up the they signal. All my glasses, so. Towers are already built. Here. <clears throat> we got in Detroit. I can't stand the sun anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. We were on about the eighth floor of the Statler Hill. And it was about mm -hmm. three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Red just hell. We ain't going to work anymore anyway, are yeah, we? No. So we had a couple beers. Red says, well, I'm going to climb out on this ledge. The ledge about that wide. He walked, he slid down on it. He says, bring me a pitcher of water. Okay, I bring him a pitcher of water. He dump it down on his feet. I go get him an oil. Dump it down on his feet. Pretty soon we had about 300 people down there looking at him. So he's leaning back against the building. You know, when you see him all of a sudden, he's got any water coming down. Uh, yes, but he took a shower out in the rain. At Nancy and Jeff's wedding. Yeah, so. that's cool. I get that. Yeah. I totally get that. I get that too. If we ever got rain, that's what I would do on the boat. That's a red for you. And we had this pistol with us, a nine shot revolver. 22 <laughs> caliber. Got us in big trouble in Maryville, Missouri to start with. We pulled up behind a grocery store. That's where we parked our truck. So we asked, it's all right, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, what's the big deal? You park in an alley behind the store and walk in yeah. and you're done. <laughs> what? So it seems legitimate. No, totally. Like we, we pulled into town. John was shooting road signs out of the window, and he was sitting behind the driver, and he stuck <laughs> the pistol That's who's under done the, that. He stuck the pistol under the seat, and when red, red drives, he always stops about two feet from where you should, or three feet after you should, you know. He hit the curb real hard. Well, the gun slid on the way from the seat and laid on the floor right in front of the seat. We go in and have breakfast. We come out, think about it. Get the car. Where do we go? Behind the grocery store. Get our truck. We be out of that car, and there's guns pointed at us in every freaking direction you can think of. Some damn cop come along, put a parking ticket on the car. And saw that gun laying on the floor. So Where were you? That's not even a crime, really, right? Oh, yeah, but having a loaded gun at that time. Oh. Any time. Yeah, I was in. Where? We were in Maryville, Missouri. In Missouri. So then we went well, from there. Well, you're in the redneck region. Who cares if you have we a went, gun? Yeah, I know. We went from there to Kentucky, and then we went up to Detroit. We were doing that, and we were. Red was taking a shower, and I had that gun in my hand, and I was standing in front he of the mirror. He still has a gun. And Red called room service for a six-pack of beer. Well, he's in the shower. I'm standing there with that gun in my hand, and this black guy comes walking in with six bottles of beer on a tray. 
bangs on the door and walks in. I turn around. Got that gun pointed right at him. He sets that beer down. He says, thank you, sir. Boom! <laughs> Out of there he was. I mean, that was it. I said, that's it. This goddamn gun's going home. <laughs> so, Billy Joe Gransford got drafted into the army, and I tell him, Billy, bring this gun back to my place. I says, I don't want to see it no more. So that, that black guy's eyes just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you, sir. Set that beer down. Gone. He didn't wait for no chimp. Yeah, but how did you how did you get out of that deal with the gun down there with everybody pointing their guns at you? Oh well, the guy that John bought it from in Benton, Minnesota, remembered him. Because he raised so much hell with him. And he says, yes, the gun is registered in Minnesota. And that was good enough for him. It took us about four hours. <laughs> Yep. But that wasn't the only time he got stabbed, right? You've been stabbed more than once, haven't no. you? No, that was the only time. That was the only time? Yep. No. <laughs> well, I stabbed myself a couple times. Well, okay. I thought there was a guy uptown, I thought there was a guy in Sheldon that like pulled a knife on you or something. Uh, or started a fight. In the bar. Oh, well, everybody started to fight if they were with Marv. They would start to fight because Marv was a big guy, like Danny Walshenbach. And then they figure Marv would finish it. So. Oh. That was the finisher. Uh, I never got in too many fights. But yes, you did. Most people just backed away. Uh. Yeah, Larry Classic was another one. Chuck McGabe was another one. They just backed away. Red was another one. Oh, you were going to get into a fight with Red? Oh, yeah. Oh, in Remsen one that. night. Huh? In Remsen one night. In Remsen? I told him, I said, I had enough of your shit. But... Yeah, he backed down too. Actually, it was Mom pulling the guns that I remember. What? Out at the farm. It'd be a little late in the evening. All of a sudden, Mom would have the shotgun. The shotgun? Telling people to get off the yard. No. That's my memory. No, never. I never had a shotgun in my hand. I was not, I was a pastor. You were, you did too. Are you? <laughs> I'm just saying.